Howdy, and uh, welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel with another installation of, we bought a <laughs> semi-abandoned a cabin in the woods uh, episode. Um, I came back up here. It's been a few, uh, oh, that was a weird noise. Uh, it's been a few weeks, um, and we just actually had a rental, so I'm going to go uh, back up, or I'm here now, and I'm going to turn off the water and do a little inspection and kind of make sure everything is uh, doing okay. Um, last time I was up here to turn the water on, we found uh, some split PVC water lines that I guess hadn't drained well um, going to the washer and dryer. So I'm going to go and check the pipes down low uh, and I'm going to winterize it again, at least from a H2O standpoint. Um, and then I'm going to do a little walk around and just kind of inspect the property and kind of see the status of the trees and whatnot, you know, just to make sure, you know, we have some dead trees on the property. Um, and I wanted to uh, just kind of make sure they haven't gotten worse in case there's, uh, oh, there's one right there, in case there is some type of threat that it's going to start dropping or shifting down. I uh, also wanted to make sure the rover's still here, and it is. Probably dead as a doornail, but you know, I'll have to bring my battery charger next time. So let's go inside and check it out. Ah, so we have survived. And it's actually, I don't think, I didn't leave any of the uh, the heaters on, I don't think. Oh, nope, we did. I'm gonna turn those off. And it, it's actually pretty decent in here. I was gonna, I was gonna think it was gonna be colder. Um, it's probably about 40 outside, which isn't bad. So uh, looks like the water hasn't frozen up or anything like that. You know, I've, I had a little more confidence in the uh, the plumbing system than Cindy, but we're kind of half and half now that the pipe that's split, and I'll show you what that is. That looks, these two, these are the culprits, had a, had a nasty little crack right there and right there that we just, you know, didn't really notice until we saw it kind of pissing everywhere. So awesome, that survived. Um, but we got the floor wet and everything. So I'm gonna go downstairs and, uh, oh, I guess this is new. We have a, another chair here. I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, start letting the water out again. Don't need to be here too long, um, but uh, just kinda, you know, just giving it all once over. It all looks good still. Oh yeah, and my new, uh, <laughs> that's a cool sign I bought. Uh, you can get them on eBay um, if you're looking for something interesting from uh, from England. Oh boy, all right, so I'm gonna pull the, Fuse on the old hot water heater, lets that start draining out. Um, pretty nice, there's a little quick quick release. I just pop it open and let it run out. And then we go downstairs and we uh, kill the rest of it. Again, the process is really not that bad. All right, so here we are in the underbelly and uh, I have disconnected the, ah, um, uh, what is it? the uh the well pump and opened up the lines to drain out any water that i have in there right now um i don't see any major other leaks or issues under here besides some shoddy pvc <clears throat> and some shoddy wiring which i'm probably gonna have to address at some point but now it's just the <coughs> now this is not the time <coughs> whoa I mean, you can see where i cut those other two pipes um, and then I plugged off the PVC lines as a band-aid <clears throat> uh, just to get me through the next season or so until I can fully do some PEX upgrades. All right, so winterization, we're doing it again. Let's, uh, look, whoa, daffodils and lights, jeez. All right, so yeah, this is the first culprit. Um, Man, this is just not a great, I mean, that's wet and dead and decently hollow. Um, the problem is all these kind of lean into the house. So that has to fall that way. Uh, trails are still holding up. And then there's this one, man. I, I think every time I come up here, it just looks worse and worse. Um, and it's dead all, all the way up and it's been dead. I mean, you think this side's bad? Check it out, right? Oh man, that is worse. I mean, that's just like playing Jenga. <laughs> oh, Frank smells something. <laughs> he loves it up here. I mean, this is wild. I just want to kind of push it over. Oh man. <laughs> well. That's, 
that's gonna fall in the house. Um, all right. <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? All right, but everything else, uh, the well hose is still there, not ex not exploded. <laughs> ah, what else? Fire pit and all that's still good. A little, uh, a little gun range is gonna survive. So yeah, like I said, I you just want to come up here and check on things. The road doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, all the property on that side looks pretty decent still too. So again, first year with it, so just trying to feel things out, see how, how it is and what it looks like in all these other seasons. Um, and I like the fact that the trails are still here. Getting excited to cut some more trails. Not Again, 21 acres, not that much property in the scheme of life, but I think it's pretty, uh, pretty decent for, uh, for a small timer. And Frank likes it. So yeah, not an incredibly interesting video, but just you know, for the people that like the, uh, the Log Cabin series, Cabins in the winter, you really can't get a whole lot done, so kind of just have to enjoy it. All right, again, so that'll wrap this video up. Just a quick kind of update type video. Uh, I'm in the truck, 250, and uh, four low, and that low ratio, 410 first gear crawler to uh, get down the mountain here. And this is the first time I've really taken the truck out and about since I got the radiator core replaced. You can check that video out in, uh, in the forward section of the playlist. And we're just gonna drop in here, kind of stay off the brakes. But uh, you know, this is uh, way steeper than it looks on camera. <laughs> and this is a big, heavy truck. So luckily it's not too muddy today. Hit a little mud patch on the way up. Have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of steering, but it should be smooth sailing. So appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out my next video. We've got more Land Rovers coming up. I've got a LR4 on the yard, as well as uh, an LR3 on the way. A 2006 Supercharged L322, and uh, and the lowest mile Volvo XC90 that I've ever seen. So if that is if that interests you. Stay tuned.